I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this video where we are going to find the coordinates of an isosceles trapezoid. The question here is, if A, B and C are three vertices taken in order of an isosceles trapezoid A, B, C, D in which A, B is parallel to D, C, find the coordinates of D. So let's try to sketch this and then we'll work out the solution. Okay. So trapezoid is a figure where opposite sides are parallel. Isosceles really means that one pair of equal length, right? So, so we'll say these are equal length and these sides are parallel. Okay. We are given that AB is parallel to DC, so we'll keep this as AB and cyclical, uh, cyclic means C and D should be here, okay? so that is cyclic. Now, uh, so we are given these things. We need to find coordinates of point D. Let's write down the coordinates given to us. We have 2, 0 here. B is 0, 2. C is 0, 7. And let's write X, Y for D. Now, x, y basically means we need to find two values. Since there are two values, we should have two equations. So, I hope you understand the strategy. One equation we will get from the condition that a, b is parallel to d, c. So, when we say a, b is parallel to d, c. So, that is one condition. The other condition we get from isosceles trapezoid that is the magnitude of a to d is equal to magnitude of b to c so we have two conditions right when we say parallel it basically implies that the slope a to b is equal to slope d to c right magnitude means the square of distance also will be same so we could use the formula which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Well, for slope, you know the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that is the base to solve the question. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Now at this stage, you can always uh, pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay? So that is the thought process. Now let's begin with the slope. So slope of uh, a to b, let's write down m a to b. Now these values are given to us, right? So we can find the slope here. Is 2 minus 0 over 0 minus 2. So that is minus 1. Now d to c should also be same, right? So slope of d to c should also be minus 1. But you can also calculate by finding difference of y values, which is 7 minus y, over difference in x values, 0 minus x. So cross multiply, you get x equals to 7 minus y. So we get one equation here. Now, let's use the other condition to find the second equation. a to d distance will be what? y minus 0 and x minus 2 whole square add them up right so x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square should be equal to this distance which is 0 minus 0 okay that's 0 plus 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 is 5 correct okay so here we get let's open this bracket we get x square minus 4x plus 4, 3 terms, here we get plus y square equals 2, that is 0, 5 squared is 25. Now we have two terms in x, 1 in y, so it's a good idea to write equation in terms of y. So I'll write this as y equals to 7 minus x, and I'll call this as my equation number 1. So we'll substitute this in this equation number 2, that value of y. So we get x square minus 4x plus 4 
Well, we could have made it, let me write down this as minus 25 on this side. And then y square is 7 minus x whole square equals to 0. Okay. Let's open this bracket. So we have x square minus 4x, that is minus 21. Square of 7 is 49 minus 2ab, which is 14x plus x square equals to 0. Combining these two x, we get 2x square. The x values minus 4 and minus 14 means minus 18x. The constants taking away 21 from 49 gives us 28 equals to 0. We can now factor this. So we get x squared minus half of this 9x, uh, half of this 14 equals to 0. So let's factor and find the value of x. So product of 14 minus 9, so that means 7 and 2, right? So we get x minus 7 times x minus 2 equals to 0. So that gives you two values of x. Perfect. So one of the values is x equals to 7, the other value says x equals to 2. Substituting these values, we get the y value also. So if I substitute 7, I get y equals to 7 minus 7, which is 0. And if x is 2, then we have y equals to 7 minus 2. So we have y equals to 5. So one coordinate point is 7, 0. The other one for us is 2, 5. Correct. We have two possible solutions here. One of them is 7, 0. The other one is 2, 5. So our answer is the value of D could be 7, 0 or 2, 5. So I hope you understand and appreciate the method. The idea here is we need to find two values X and Y. That means we should have two equations to solve. We got one equation using the slope, the other one using distance. Since it is a quadratic equation, we get two possible solutions. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.